Hey friends, it's Tracy and I am back. I know I'm not recording as much as usual, but I am here today to do some happy mail and finally stuff my letterbox. So we'll do happy mail first and then we'll do letterbox second. So we got a small little stack here from some of my friends. All right, <laughs> first up is from Ren, which actually two of them are from Ren. So we might as well open them together. All right, first one is the American Flamingo. We all know Ren. She loves her birds. I am part of her Bird of the Month Club. Is it officially called Bird of the Month? No, it is not. <laughs> Ooh, but I got an IOU slip this time. Ooh. All right, we have our Flamingo sticker because if you're part of the Bird of the Month Club, you have to have a sticker of the Month Club too. So Flamingo's 35, and she always puts fun little facts about Flamingo's. I personally love them. I still love her blue-footed um, bird the most, but there's always room for more birds in the bird club. And here is her O oh, for flock's sake, <laughs> which is adorable. And we all know that I need IOU slips because I like to scratch more than I have money for. And the second one is an order that I did from her because she keeps coming out with stuff that I have to have, keyword have to have. Um, I really don't need any more challenges to be honest, but I love my Ren. All right, what did you have to have from Ren? Well, getting older is a piece of cake. I just turned 40. It is not a piece of cake. 40 is, <laughs> 40 is 40. <laughs> now, I know some of you are going to come at me in the comments and say, well, wait till you're 50, wait till you're 60. Totally get it. But when you're 30 and then you get to 40, you feel it. <laughs> uh, this is how I feel today. This is me working and loving my job. This is me on a Monday, staring at my computer, doing a Zoom call meeting. I think it's adorable though. I mean, I probably resonate the most with this penguin guy, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> he ate a little too much on the weekend and he doesn't know what he's doing. His eyes are going, oh crap, I probably should know what I'm doing and my boss is calling me. <laughs> that is me. And I am saving up for a new car. So of course I had to get, get your gas into gear because these cars are adorable and cars are expensive. They're so expensive. I still have a dream to walk into a dealership and pay cash for my car. I don't know when that dream will happen, but I'm still dreaming. <laughs> $100 at a time, I'll be dreaming. And more IOU slips. Oh, the Snoopy one. Okay, that one's really cute. You gotta have your fall penguin. I think Ren hooked me up here, to be honest. IOU with my seagull. You guys know I have my french fry seagull challenge from her. The bread one is just too, and the tacos. Yes, we love tacos. <laughs> Thanks, Ren. I love you. And I definitely don't need more challenges, but I just keep hitting add to cart by now. Okay, we're going to pretend this didn't happen, but it did happen. Next up is from Candy over at Stuff and Budget. If you guys cannot tell, I did a little retail therapy. I do have my gift card loaded on Etsy, so any of the spending that I'm doing is within my $500 budget for the year that I saved up last year. So I am doing the same thing this year. I'm saving up money to be able to spend money next year towards buying savings challenges. That way it keeps me in check. Um, this is what I bought, part of my retail therapy. All right, so she left me a note on my invoice. I typically don't show the invoices, but pretty much she said that I'm the most amazing thing ever. And she loves me and appreciates that I shopped at her shop. And then also she said that she threw in some self-care challenge for me, which I love self-care. If you can get me a massage, a spa trip, um, anything that's relaxing, and then followed up with tacos with your bestie, I'm in. <laughs> Speaking of tacos... <laughs> Tacos on Monday, be like, yes, because Taco Tuesday, they know they're getting eaten up. <laughs> Did I have to have this one too? Yep. And of course, you got to throw in some stickers. So our budgeting community, we love our stickers. We have the police pigeon. We have a candle. And tacos. Yes. <laughs> and it looks like I got a cute another sticker here. Little Chinese sticker. Uh, we got a little free little scratch off with her information. So if you want to shop her shop too, and of course a thank you from candy and look at this cute little freebie. Ooh, that's what it is. It's the year of the monkey. So we're coming up to the monkey year. I am a rat. So 
If you are, if you know your Chinese animal, I am the rat. Look how cute this monkey looks. 2028. 2028? You're the monkey. Ooh, we're way ahead of time here. <laughs> okay, tacos be like, I already talked about that one. Yes, I told you guys, I'm saving for a new car. Do you know how fast you were going? I am not a speeder at all. I will go five to eight miles per hour over the speed limit, and that is my comfort zone. I do definitely do not cross 10 over. I have many friends that do. I do not, but I also don't go under the speed limit. So this one, it looks like I scratch off, and then I pay depending on how fast I was going. 100 miles per hour, never in my life, ever. <laughs> and then here's my spa one. Oh my gosh, I want to scratch off every single one of these now and go and book a massage. Life is just stressful right now and so this just sounds so appealing so perfect timing for this one thank you friend next up this one is a surprise mail which i love just getting happy mail by surprise i don't know what's coming this is from build it big budgets with stacy and if you, anything that rhymes with tracy you know it's good so stacy's lacy's macy's you're in <laughs> just wanted to say hi and send some of my challenges i made you can use them or give them away have a wonderful day to stacy to tracy from stacy that's cute look at that cute little postcard all right what did she make us we got ooh, all even numbers thank you i hate odd numbers i love even numbers and those drinks actually look really good I need to figure out a bestie day. We need to go have a drink. <laughs> Do you want that in there? <laughs> I may be standing next to my best friend right now, and she is watching me, and she's like, yes, we do. There's her hands. <laughs> um, here, should we both save money, and then yeah. I'll buy you a drink, and you buy me a drink? <laughs> And then here's one where you do the roll and save. Thank you for the light you bring to this world. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, grab. I love those grabber games. I am a sucker for any arcade game. I hate paying for them, but I love like trying to win them. Be kind. Speak your mind. Summertime. I'm this one in the floaty. <laughs> Don't worry about what you can't control. Just chill. Oh. Thank you for all even numbers on these, by the way. Stay away from things that drain you. <laughs> okay, that's really funny. <laughs> Remember to recharge. Oh, ice cream. Oh, should we get ice cream too? <laughs> oh, and a car one. So this could go towards a new car too. Awesome, friend. Thank you for sharing so many savings challenges. Honestly, these are resonating with a lot of my feelings right now. So... Stay away from things that drain you. Oh, got it. <laughs> Thank you. So check out Build It Big Budgets with Stacy. I will have it linked below. Super cool, friend. Appreciate it. Last up is from Spooky Budgets. I try to buy from her every fall time. She does resonate with me for like that Halloween October time frame. Her whole vibe. So last time I bought her three card challenge for Hocus Pocus, absolutely loved it. And she was my first go-to spot for anything October. Like, it's just, I mean, come on. How do you not think of her for October? All right, looks like I have a love note that is very thick, first of all. Okay, so we have three packages. I'm gonna unwrap everything just so that you guys don't have to hear all the crinkles and then I'll go through each of these. Okay, so we have some games. It's all just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. So this is what I know I ordered. I think some of these are bonuses, <laughs> to be honest, because either that or I went extra shop happy and I just don't remember it. But I definitely wanted another Hocus Pocus challenge. So in here, there are all the different symbols. So you got your three different witches. You have the, the candle, the eye from the book, and the cat. And this one, you do I roll a die? Yeah, so I roll a die. Then whatever I get, I will cross off that and save that amount of money. And I just thought this was so cute because I love Hocus Pocus. <sighs> just too good, friend. <laughs> I just thought it was super cute. It just reminds you of being up north in the woods. I love to get away from the city and enjoy time outdoors when I can. And hopefully I'll be able to do that a little bit more frequently. But 
I just love it when I can get away from the city. So I'll scratch off and then save whatever amount I specify. And I just thought this was so cute. Uh, save around the Christmas tree. So same type of thing. I scratch off and then see what ghosty I get. I love these ones where you don't know what the icon is and it's just kind of variable. We'll all be together as one big happy family. So here we have a cute little family of ghosties. Well, these three look dead and this one looks alive. <laughs> it's probably based on a movie. I don't know the movie, but that doesn't mean anything. Because <laughs> And the Happy Meal, oh my gosh. Did you guys remember when you were a kid and you got the little Happy Meal buckets? At least I don't think I did when I was a kid, but I have younger siblings, so they did. But anyways, I would scratch off and then save depending on what I designate each of those for. And we have a little Happy Meal note. Tracy, thank you so much for your order. I hope you enjoy your freebies. I knew you threw in extras. I'm like, I don't remember shopping this much, but I also don't remember shopping. So you know how that goes. <laughs> Ooh, this looks fun. <laughs> It's totally the dice that goes with that one challenge. <laughs> so on here, it has each of the witches and the cat. Oh my gosh. And the eye and the candle. So good. So I roll this die and this die will tell me what to scratch off. Okay. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> and this one looks like a tarot card. Ooh. Three of Claws. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I think it's good. <laughs> Tell me, is it good? Is it bad? Should I run? Hide? Does my friend have to kill me now? Okay, bye. <laughs> Save with ghost face. Yes. And then the cute little sticker challenge. So I used to send out a big one like this back in the day. So I get to decorate this little Dracula. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Thanks, friend. All right, this is all my happy mail. Check out Spooky Budgets. Honestly, she is my go-to shop for all things October, Halloween. She just has so many good things. And honestly, you could do it all year round. Like, she has a Christmas one. But she does lean towards, like, little spooky ghoulie. And I just love it. I'm here for it. <laughs> all right, let's save those letter books. boop -a boo <laughs> So here are my letter books. Anytime I go to the grocery store, I use cash. And when I use cash, I save any $1 and $5 that I get back. Typically, I don't need them. So it's an easy way for me to save extra money. And so today, I am actually going to put all the money towards my 2024 challenge because I do need to get this one progressing a little bit faster. So normally, I would split up the fives and that would go towards date night and the ones would go towards this. But I'm just going to throw it all into this today because I want to. <laughs> you can't tell me otherwise. It is my challenge and I can do whatever I want. All right, how much do I have that I've saved? 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. So we have $23, which doesn't seem like a lot, but actually it goes a long way and it all goes towards my goal of saving $2,024 when this whole book is done. So load up the calculator. We have $23 and we already finished that page. I don't feel like bingo today. Let's see what page we want to do. All right. So it looks like we finished this one last time. So let's just go ahead and start the next page because really we have to get every single page done by the time we save $2,000. So this page should save 60. I feel like $23 we're going to get pretty far, but you never know. Do, 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 do. So we got six, so we're going to subtract six. We have $17 left. Ten. Okay, now we're getting scary. Now we only have seven left, so let's go to another page because this one can be any number up to 12. So let's go to this page. These are all numbers one through six, which I know I only have $7 left. And we got a two. So we have $5 left. I think we can risk it because it's only six. Let's just hope we don't get a six. Three, so we're happy with that. So we have $2 left, so we're gonna color the last one. And, ooh, let's do the hay bales. I haven't done one of these in a while, and honestly, this is my favorite page in the whole book. <laughs> Does it make any sense that I would love the hay bale page? Absolutely not. 
but there's just something about it. I think because my grandpa was a farmer and he always would go and bathe the, like do the hay bales and we would play in them as kids. There's just something that resonates with it. So let's color in the two. Do, 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 do. And we are done. So we spent all $23 and it goes really, really fast when you only have $23, but it also is $23 more than we had before. All right, so we are gonna put the money into our 2024 challenge. We have the cute little dashboard on there. So let's add our $23, which is all five and ones. All right, so what is this book up to so far? We have 200, 400, 20, 40, 60, 5, 75, 85, 95, 500. Ooh, I gotta change out that placeholder. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6. $526. We are a quarter of the way done and we have about six months to go. <laughs> we may have to pick up the pace a little bit. We'll see, but we're still happy. That's all I have for today, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for all the kind messages you guys are sending me. I know I'm a little bit more inconsistent right now, but I do have plans to do a Friday video and I'm just going to keep posting as I have um, ability. So Thank you, guys. I'll see you on Friday. Bye. Brian, do you want to join? Bye. Bye. <laughs>